Six Capitol Police officers are suspended and 35 under investigation into last month's deadly riots at the Capitol. The announcement comes on top of new indictments related to the insurrection. News Nation Washington, D.C. correspondent Joe Khalil breaks it down for us tonight. And new developments tonight from the fallout from January 6. Nine members of the group, the Oath Keepers, a paramilitary group with former law enforcement and military members, have been indicted in total, but six indicted and arrested just this week on charges of conspiracy against the United States. And clearly, based on their communication, they were coordinating, they were planning this attack to disrupt the Electoral College count, and they were clearly willing to do so violently if they had to. And the indictment was unsealed today, and it reveals the communication and how the Oath Keepers coordinated with each other both before and during the attack. And some of it has been inspired by former President Trump. Now, one of these people who were indicted and arrested just this week, Kelly Meggs, sent a message to another plotter in which she said, Trump said it's going to be wild. He wants us to make it wild. That's what he's saying. He called us to the Capitol. Another member, Thomas Caldwell, wrote on Facebook referring to Democrats that they have, quote, morphed into pure evil, even blatantly rigging an election and paying off the political caste. We must smite them now and drive them down. Now, the indictment makes clear during this attack that this group was communicating with each other. They were using military tactics, which they had actually trained for, and they were wearing tactical gear. And one of the members, Jessica Watkins, called for the group to start making citizen arrests of members of Congress as she was making her way through the Capitol. Now, some lawmakers actually fear there could be more violence in another insurrection, particularly on March 4th. It's the date historically where the inauguration was held before 1933. And some uh, members of paramilitary groups and some members uh, of online communities have been circling that date as the real inauguration where President Trump will reform as president. And they've been spreading that. That has made some lawmakers nervous, including Chairman of the Homeland Security Committee, Benny Thompson. The chatter is still there, uh, whether they're on Telegram or, or Parler or, or whatever platform uh, they are using, uh, it's still there. And, and so as long as it's there, uh, we'll have to pay attention to it. If we don't put them out of business, at some point, they just might succeed. And Chairman Thompson telling us there that's why this fence is going to be up beyond March 4th. And some members of the Capitol Police have been advocating that it stay up through the summer and into September. And the Capitol Police, by the way, are dealing with their own fallout. We know now that 35 of their officers are being investigated for their role in some way on January 6th. Six of them have already been suspended with pay. In Washington, Joe Khalil, News Nation.